Good afternoon. This is Pastor Anthony. We are on the road with Pastor Anthony, but we're not on the road today. Um, just kind of wanted to chit chat a minute about the winds of change. When we think about that, how do you deal with change um, when things happen and in your life, and just and you see things going a different direction than what you thought? Then uh, how do you handle that? And so that's what we're going to talk about. So stay tuned, and we will see you shortly. Hey, good afternoon. This is Pastor Anthony, and we are on the road. We are in Pickawa, Ohio, and we just now picked up the Sunset Trail Super Light. Um, we are getting ready to boogie out of here and head to Nashville. Um, we're hoping to uh, actually be in Nashville early enough to go hang out at uh, Global Vision. Their uh, men's ministry is this evening. Hitting my lights here so we can. Uh, check them out real quick, but uh, maybe get to go to Iron Men down there and hang out with them. Just uh, just you know, you'd be able to chill out and this evening and deliver this one first thing in the morning. So just kind of wanted to touch base and uh, checking all of our lights on our pre trip. Going to phone it in. We've already uploaded all of our paperwork, so we are ready to roll. So next time I see you, we will be in. Tennessee soon. See you soon. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Pastor Anthony, and we are here. We are at Camping World in Nashville, and I did not realize it until uh, pulling down through here that I'm literally, I mean, it's like that way, five minutes, not even five minutes, drive time, right inside of the Grand Ole Opry, and so guess where we'll be going tomorrow? Yes, I'm excited. We're definitely going to be looking at that. Uh, so we're just going to kind of walk around here for a moment and talk. Um, went to Global Vision Bible uh, Church tonight and got to hang out with some of them. Uh, their senior pastor, Greg Locke, was not there, but uh, I did get to meet his son. That was pretty awesome. Um, the uh, the guy that, that led the lesson, terrible with names, do not remember his name. I believe it was Jeff, but um, first time he ever taught, and so it was pretty cool uh, to see God working uh, in his life. I got to meet Pastor Danny and a few of the others, uh, probably about 40 of us men there, uh, but one of the things that was kind of off to me when I walked in and was beginning to talk to him is there was a female sitting there with a gentleman, and after getting to talking a little bit, we sat down, went through our lesson, and Pastor Danny got back up and was going to uh, close us in prayer. But he, he asked this couple to come up, and they were actually there from Arizona. Their church had been closed for a year, and they had not been worshiping uh, anywhere. And But God has been doing some, some major changes and overhauls in their life, which kind of goes where I was wanting to go to this evening uh, with you all. 
as uh, you heard me talk a little bit earlier, the winds of change. And when we think about that, um, after listening to this couple telling their story of how you know they were in church and they've been uh, doing uh, life for 15 years, had a you know, good marriage, and then all of a sudden this change happened and their marriage began to spiral out of control. Um, they lost a loved one and uh, just so many things happened over the next course of several uh, years and then COVID and uh, all these things that just really um, turned their lives upside down and they weren't understanding everything that was going on and why and uh, it got to the point where they were questioning their marriage and whether they should be together and begin you know Satan was attacking and just pushing them deeper you know the husband said he would battle depression and uh, even uh, contemplated suicide and you know all these things were happening in their world and they it was just like you know upside down they didn't understand and they wasn't sure what was going on and then he began to seek God he began to pray and God began to speak to him and just really pour into his life and finally he said God spoke to him and told him he said listen your heart is so hard and he said until I give you a heart transplant he's like you're not going to be able to move to the next level and he said but God began changed his heart began to rebuild his marriage and their marriage is so strong now they're still coming back and um, moving forward and, uh, and they just felt this strong urge that they wanted to come and visit Global Vision Bible Church and uh, they're feeling like God is just drawing them to this place uh, doing a lot of things in their life um, she was talking about, the wife was talking about her daughter was texting her it's like are we moving to Tennessee you know, from Arizona and so uh, you know they don't know what God's got in store for them but they know he's moving them forward and when I think about that and I think about the, everything that's happened in my life and my wife and our family over this last little bit before COVID, uh, God began to doing some things in my life and in my wife and, and just changing. And when we see these things beginning to happen, beginning to change, we don't, sometimes we don't see all the picture. You know, it's been probably almost, I'm going to say two years and three months, somewhere along these that God told me that in two years there was major changes coming in my life, major changes coming in my home, and we did, and I did not see everything that's happened. You know, one of the things that I seen happening, and I thought, oh, that's it, that's what's going to be right there. Yeah, it's going, it's going to be me getting ordained, becoming a reverend, becoming that next step in my pastoral ministry, and going to grow that youth ministry. We're going, we're going to, you know, it's going to change things for it. And that was only a small tidbit of what was coming. And, you know, in, in that two-year time frame, God really began to work with me and change uh, the way that I viewed ministry. I still love my, my students. I still uh, love youth ministry. But that's not the focus that God has for me. And any of you that, that watched uh, GF this past Sunday knows that I have turned my resignation in as youth minister. I am uh, next Sunday will be my last Sunday as officially the youth pastor there. Um, you know, it's just part of this change. But you know, when I got into RV transport, I thought you know when it first was presented to me, and I still yet don't know how it came about other than it had to be a God thing. Um, and people were like, how was leaving ministry to, to tow RVs, how is that a God thing? Well, me and my wife prayed if God was wanting me to do this, to open doors and to do something different than to open the doors. And I'm telling you, they flew open so fast that we couldn't walk through them fast enough. And he has blessed us since we've I've been out here. Um, I've started this channel, you know, that has over 61 subscribers now. So if you have not subscribed and you're seeing this, you need to subscribe to it and begin to walk this journey with me and my family 
as it says on the road with Pastor Anthony sharing life and sharing Jesus one mile at a time. This is what we're doing. Uh, this is the excitement. The things that God is doing, I don't see everything. I don't see what's happening around the corner, but I know there's more change coming. I mean, I see it happening. I, as I move out of this this youth ministry role and the role of driving the school bus into towing RVs and traveling around the country, speaking to people and talking to them and sharing the love of Christ, sharing the gospel. I've got to counsel so many people, got to talk with them and have prayer with them and learning and being here global vision tonight it's another thing meeting people that i would have never met had i stayed in my comfort zone in that one little area and so i really think about that and when we go back to scripture we see so many times that god had it's shaking people up and um, you know tragedy strikes um, hardships come along and it's only for him to take them to that next phase in their life and the next test and the next growth and the next opportunity for ministry and so we just this is where faith kicks in we walk by faith not by sight we may not be able to see what's happening just in front of us around the next corner but if we follow God and trust Him and we really truly hang on to what He's telling us in, in His Word and what He's showing us and, the, and being obedient and just guide, letting Him guide each and every step, we will be blessed. We're going to see things happen and be excited about it. Because I'm going to tell you, um, I don't know what's, what God's got in store around the next corner. But what I do know is is I'm ready to go. I'm super excited. I'm ready to see it. And, um, you know, <laughs> and you get to go along with this journey as you follow me on this video channel. I've had some opportunities to um, talk to our area minister and, and learning some different avenues in, in the digital world because I do not know that much about it. I've, you know, I've diddled around with social media and stuff. And now that I'm doing this, which God told me to do back before COVID and I drug my feet. And so I don't know where that next step is going, but I know it's growing and we're going to do more and we're going to see more from the digital aspect. And there's so many things because the digital world is in our face i mean it is here it's growing it's rapidly evolving and there's so many people that's involved in it and we need to use it as a platform to spread the gospel so is that the way that god has taken me i think so i see some some avenues there i see some opportunities being presented to me and i am excited i'm going to go and i'm going to follow and i'm going to be obedient to him and do the things that he's called me to do and so I am pumped. I'm excited. And so we all need to look at life that way. We need to look at as the winds of change come and our lives, different things come about and different opportunities. Don't be afraid. Jump in in faith, but pray it through first. Ask God for wisdom. James tells us that those who ask God for, for wisdom, He will give generously to those who ask and believe that they will receive and don't doubt. So we can't doubt. We've got to trust Him and have faith that God is going to see us through our, this thing called life. He's going to bless us. He's going to grow us. He's going to move us. But don't get complacent. Don't get in that comfort zone and expect everything to just go along and everything is the way it is and without without trusting god to continue to grow you but you got to stay in his word be in prayer be in fellowship with him be in fellowship with other believers it's important for us to be in the church but can we use some digital aspects of it to grow and to branch out and to share the gospel absolutely we can but we got to do it the way that God wants us to do it. So the winds of change is not scary. It's exciting. I'm ready to go. How about you? Are you ready? Is God calling you to do something different? Is He, is he calling you to, to step out of your comfort zone and do something that you've never done before for Him, for the glory of God, to grow the ministry, to grow the kingdom? When's the last time you shared your face with someone? When's the last time you um, led someone to Christ? Something to think about.
So what is God calling you to do? That's where I want to end this tonight. So I'm going to end it in prayer and get this thing pieced together and get it up. I'm excited about today. It's been a fantastic day. Um, I'm excited about tomorrow once we get this one delivered. Don't sure where we're going to go yet. I, need, I haven't looked at the load board, but I do know that we're going to make a little trip down here to the Grand Ole Opry and get some pictures and video. Not sure what we can see and maybe see do some walking around uh, here in town. And so, um, and just you know, because I've never I've never been able to do that, experience that, and so I want to do that and share that with you. Um, I think that's uh, that's the purpose of this channel, is us sharing life together and allowing Christ to to use us in ways that we've never been used before. So let's uh, let's pray here. And I have not yet ate dinner, so I'm going to eat me a little something and put the viper to bed and get ready to. Uh, uh, deliver this this unit in the morning and so uh, I will see you when we see you so let's pray Father God Lord we just thank you so much for for all that you're doing and the opportunities that you've put, put before us and Father we just ask as change comes don't let us cower back and be afraid but let's embrace it and move forward with you and allow you to take us places that we never would have gone any other way and so, Father, we just ask you to continue to challenge us and teach us and move us forward. Keep us safe till we shall meet again, Lord. Father, we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all be blessed, and we will see you tomorrow after we deliver this beautiful Sunset Trail unit. We will see you then.